Guten Tag, Fragelein. From the middle of nowhere, Germany at Tripstrill. And you can already see the brand new Vacoma, the only new Vacoma invert with inversions in the world. Yes, and a lap bar. It's the first modern Vacoma to loop with the lap bars. Yeah, and I think it's our first modern Vacoma that we've ever ridden with inversions. So that's super exciting to finally be able to ride one of those. And it's beautiful. I can't wait. Tripstrill is a charming park located in a small town in Germany that is perfectly balanced between park and rides. There are no major dark rides and a good but limited selection of flat rides, a nice rapids ride, and a flume and plenty of other things to do in the park. It's a perfect mix for a smaller, spread out theme park like Tripstrill. The park itself is exactly what a theme park should look like in my opinion. Lots of grass space, plenty of little obscure stops along pathways to keep your interest, like this game where you fire eggs out of a chicken. We started our day at the new Vacoma Hals Uberkopf. It's the only of its kind in the world, a suspended thrill coaster model. It inverts with just lap bar restraints, uses the terrain and intertwines itself with the shuttle coaster family ride, Valdampf. I'm going to have terrible pronunciation throughout this whole video. <laughs> These intertwining coasters are brilliantly designed where the shuttle coaster actually goes up into the station of the inverted one. It's an amazing effect and some of the best use of space for two coasters that I've ever seen. You can walk around and under the rides as they go all around you and they will duel every so often. I absolutely love this invert. It's so smooth. It's filled with negative G's. The build quality is nice and it just feels good to ride. Super fun, not intense, but not everything should be. And for an inverted coaster to have negative G's, it's pretty rare and it works really, really well, surprisingly. I wanna see more of these and I'm curious what other inversions they could put into this coaster type. Why don't we have larger new Vacomas in the States? I just don't understand. Maybe they're not marketable in the mindset of American parks, but these just speak for themselves once you ride this new generation of this company. They're both really good. Uh, it's weird to have airtime on an inverted coaster, but it works like great. Not the most forceful, like, um, it's better than Patriot, it holds a fun. Oh, better than a lot of DNM inverts. There's one part where you turn into the zero G roll, and when you exit it, the train continues to turn like 90 degrees, so it feels like very twisted. I don't know, I liked it a lot. Every roll has like floater airtime on it, which is it's awesome. very different, but yeah, it's fun. And this guy's climbing all day. Next up, we went on this funny drop tower with a fun little surprise at the end. I loved it. They're small, but they pack a nice little burst of adrenaline, and they duel with each other when both sides are running. However, it wasn't that busy in the park when we visited due to the rain and it being a weekday. We walked across the park to the other collection of major rides that this theme park has to offer. Hallo, sei bloß vorsichtig, dass dich der Bauer nicht verwischt mit seinem Priegel, sonst könnte es bis für dein Buckel und dein Hinterteil ausgegangen. So Aber strange. es ist schön, dass du da bist. A couple water rides and a few more coasters around a large field. It makes for a really nice setting. Honestly, one of the coolest areas of any park. Nothing like this anywhere that I've seen. The Gerslauer coaster, Carajo, is a very visually pleasing coaster. It has a nice dive around the pathway and some other intense elements, making it one of the best of its kind in the world, honestly. This is the fanciest test seat ever. Lots of speed, smooth, really fun to watch from pathways. The interaction is good. And a nice amount of theming during the queue and on the trains itself. 
And of course, an extra special animatronic at the exit of the ride, the infamous puking man. I personally prefer the Vacoma invert a bit more, so it would be where I spent the ending of the day to ride that as many times as I could. It kind of does a little dip before the launch and the launch had a good kick. I really liked it. Yeah, good launch, fast launch. It could use more hang time. That's my only complaint. I really like hang time. So one like slow element would be great on that thing. And the log flume was next, which was a great surprise and very fun. One of the best log flumes ever, honestly. The theming is top notch. Yeah! Oh my God. Here we go. Look at those massive fish. They're having a little fun. It's a pretty hilarious ride, just like everything in this park. Everything is just so surprising. All around good fun, a must ride, very funny. That's my favorite log from now. <laughs> Another Gerslauer, the bobsled coaster called Sente Sao, uh, possibly, was next up on our list. These are like other wild mouse-like coasters in the world. They're all over Europe, and they're once again a coaster model that is just missing over in the USA. They're smooth, they have fun elements, and they're always themed quite well at every park that we've seen them at. This particular bobsled runs right along the terrain, creating a really nice effect when viewing it from the queue and when on the ride. It's the same layout as the model at Jurs Summerland in Denmark. But you would never know that for the small footprint that this is. It's an amazing coaster, like all the rides at this park. It's also a must ride. Oh, what the <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The wooden coaster Mammut was next, famous for the stunts that have taken place on this coaster. It's also the first wooden coaster in Germany that was designed, manufactured, and built by all German companies. It's known for the most famous stunt being where one man used inline skates to ride around the track, as seen here. He tried to do it on this coaster first, but it looks like he failed. <laughs> because he's like, not in good condition. This Gerslauer wooden coaster isn't anything too thrilling, and it doesn't have many forces really, but the theming and the layout is interesting, and the ride itself is smooth and comfortable. It's one that I would ride again, but I mean, with the other rides at this park, I didn't really have to ride it again. I'm giving it a try. I don't know how far it shoots. Ah, uh, here's some unlucky fellas, ladies. Ooh, they're gonna get hit with the cannon. Good. That made me jump more than I got that one. Trip Trill is filled with all sorts of quirks, like a museum with all sorts of models of all the rides and other interesting pieces. You can see Carajo here, the log flume, and a bunch of other high quality models, likely used in the actual design process, I would guess. Um, I can't repeat it enough. You must go into every building here when visiting, just go around and explore. There's things that I've even missed on my visit, but more reason to return. Uh, they have a nice indoor outdoor fun house attraction as well. That is good fun. And there's some things that I've just never seen before, which is always good. The park is really just filled with fun. It's all about having fun. And of course, before you leave, make sure to show your park ticket at the park's main gift shop for a free gift when visiting. I believe it's a tasting glass and wine, but I'm not 100% on that. Once again, it's something that we just forgot to do. Oh! 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 Yeah! It's like, it doesn't have enough air power to get into that. How many did you get in? As many as you've gotten in the past year. Oh no! Oh, no. oh that scared me. And lastly, another not to miss coaster is one that. I really don't know how to pronounce Rassender Tossen Fussler. It's one that you might miss because it's really just a family Tivoli model. However, it's one of those rare rides where the entire coaster train comes together in a way like no other. You can skim the grass with your hand. Everyone on it is excited as you pass through the station. And it's just one of those experiences that you cannot leave Tripstrill without doing. 
It encompasses the energy of the whole park in just this one ride. Really a ride that everyone can get together on and have a great time. And I couldn't think of a better way to end this park day. For a rainy and miserable day, this park was full of joy and it's one that I will 100% include on a return trip to Germany. But just like that, it was time to get back in the car and drive to the one and only Expedition G-Force, putting Holiday Park on the map for coaster fans around the world this has been rated number one by quite a few people, so how would it rank for us? Until next time, we'll see ya, and thanks as always for watching. Feel free to leave a question below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Bye-bye.